This morning, former President George H.W. Bush will be remembered in the place he called home. There will be a private funeral service in Houston. And the president will be taken to the Bush Presidential Library up in College Station, the place he'll be laid to rest. Uh, throughout the night, folks visited St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Tanglewood. The former president had been lying in repose ahead of today's service. This comes after the nation paused to honor the president in Washington, D.C. Every living president and members of the Bush family were joined by hundreds of mourners at the National Cathedral for a state funeral service. If you're just now joining us all morning long, we've been bringing team coverage of today's events to remember the 41st president. Channel 2's Andy Sirota joins us now live again from St. Martin's. Good morning. Rachel Owen, good morning to both of you. It really warms your heart on this cold morning to see all of the people who've come out here throughout the night and into the early morning hours to pay their respects to our country's 41st president. People were so taken by former President Bush's grace, his virtue, and his decency, and that's why so many of them felt compelled to come out here and pay their final respects to a man who many called a neighbor and a friend. The funeral service for former President Bush is set to begin in just a few hours at 10 a.m. And throughout the night, we've seen so many people out here paying their respects in uniform, from firefighters to police officers and service members. And we've also seen some folks like Alma Thompson. You got to take a look at this picture. She made a scarf out of socks to pay tribute to our 41st president. And if you look closely, you'll see her carrying an American flag and wearing a railroad hat. All right, so here's how this morning is going to go. At 8 a.m., the doors will open for this invitation-only funeral to guests. Guest arrivals will continue until 9.30 this morning. We're expecting the Bush family to arrive at 9.40, but we're not expecting to see them like we did during Barbara Bush's funeral. They will enter the church privately, and around 9.50, we expect to see eight grandsons of Bush 41. They're all serving as honorary pallbearers, and the service will begin at 10 a.m. sharp. The eulogists for the funeral will be best friend James Baker, who served as Secretary of State and White House Chief of Staff under President Bush. President Bush's grandson, George Prescott Bush, will also give a eulogy. The public viewing just wrapped up here at St. Martin's Episcopal. We're told that over 12,000 people came out here to pay their respects to former President Bush. The first stop for all of those mourners was at Second Baptist Church, not far from here 